having me. Um, very excited. Hey, um, it's uh, obviously a for me. It's staying in the ISL was a was a big part of my plan to obviously develop a, as a player and obviously uh, I guess watch and progress uh, in the in the league. But um, no, I'm very excited to be a Gemship Pool player and, and to give my uh, everything for the up and coming season. It's, it was an, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I had quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of messages from a lot of fans, uh, obviously Gemship Pool fans, but also Indian fans as well. Uh, just in general, that love the ISL. Um, so yeah, I've had lots of love, and it's really, really, really great to have people that really want you to stay in the league and, and obviously join their team. Um, and like I said, I'm very excited to be a Gemship Four player and to be playing in front of these fans. And um, and I'm sure that we can really, really do well this season and, and give our all and, and give that success you know, that the club needs. Yeah, it was sort of just straight after the season, really. Um, and obviously, once I had that interest, especially from Owen, that was a big part of my move. Um, he's the amount of experience that he has with. Uh, with footballers in the English Premier League and also over in the US and, and obviously here as well, um, it, it's a big uh, it's a big bonus and um, yeah I'm very excited to develop my game and and to learn so much from him but also the great players that are around um, around the club and you know it's really good for competition spots as well it's a really strong team I'm very much looking forward to it to happen um, but yeah I, I uh, had a chat with Alan Coyle and he was really keen to get me on board and. Uh, yeah, and that, and that I guess just cemented one move really, just the the fact that he was there, and obviously had Mukul there that was uh, very keen to have me as well, and I'm um, just very thankful for the management for putting their trust in me and and signing me for the season ahead. Uh, it's actually my dad; uh, he used to play um, football as well, and lucky enough it runs in the family a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's his jersey when he was playing in the um, Ollie Roos. Uh, back in the day, I think it was probably around 60 years ago. <laughs> no, no, he'd be, he'd be angry if I said that. It's probably around 20, uh, 30 years ago. So yeah, it sort of runs in the family and hopefully one day I can be wearing the same. He's a, he's the biggest uh, inspiration. Um, it's a it's a different story me growing up with football. It was very, um, very full on. Um, and obviously having a father that's played professionally, um, you know, trying to, uh, I guess, uh, give me his wisdom of how to be a footballer and, and the things that you need to do which is dedication, belief, uh, hard work um, that comes along with it so yeah it's obviously a huge um, a huge part of my footballing success well I like to think that I'm a very hard working and hard working player but also I give 100% to the team um, no matter bench uh, on, the, on the field training always give 110% um, and scoring goals, that's my job as a striker, is to score goals. Um, and I think that's going to be a big part of what I want to achieve this season. And, you know, personal goals, obviously, but definitely putting the team first and giving 110% whenever I walk on the park. There's a lot of really, really good players. Um, and obviously, the more I'm there training, the more I get to see a lot more. Obviously, you're, you're watching them game day, but when you're training with someone as well every day, you start to, I guess, uh, see what type of player they are, um, link up, like you said. Um, but obviously, you know, it's a, it's a very tough squad and that's what you need as a player. You need someone to be pushing you for every position that, that they're in. Um, but obviously Valskez for me is a, is a big one. Um, you know, centre forward, um, you know, having that partnership as well is very key. Um, especially playing up there when, at the end of the day, goals win your game. Um, so, you know, obviously linking up with him and watching, watching him, learning from him as well was a big key. Um, obviously Peter as well, played against Peter. Um, really, really nice guy. Um, great football, but footballer, but really, really good, really good bloke. Sorry, um, and I'm very much looking forward to sort of, sort of having a connection with him as well. Uh, and obviously, Ishan's actually a nice, uh, a nice little sign that the club's made too. So, you know, some of these players are just, are just some of them that I'm very keen to link up with. But I'm very keen to see my teammates get along with them, uh, have a bit of a laugh as well, because that's what it's about. It's about you know, being a really tight group and. And obviously, being good friends after football as well is a big key. Uh, so my team, my team basically uh, goal is to is to make the finals. Um, that's, that's period. That's full stop. Um, we've got a good enough team to do that. Um, and anything less than that is a is almost a failure. Really, uh, I like to everything I do. I like to win. Um, it's never to, never to lose. Never to draw. It's always to win. Um, so I, I believe that the club at the moment where it is is striving for success. 
Um, and I want to be a part of that success and I want to give everything to the club. Uh, personal goals is to, if I don't want to lie, I want to be top goal scorer in the league. Um, that's just as simple as that. I want to score as many goals as I can to help help the team get success um, and obviously learn a lot. Like I've said, uh, having Owen there and, and Sandy, the assistant coach, and, and all the older players, even the Indian players that are there, the local players, very keen to learn a lot from them and hopefully they can learn a lot from me. And again, we can have a very tight group where success, success comes, you know, and, um, and I'm very sure that it will, it will come. 